So in this video, I want to look at the integral of log x. And the technique I'm going to use is integration by parts. So I've written the formula for integration by parts above to make this easier to follow. All right, so I want to integrate log x. By the way, log x here means exactly the same thing as ln of x. It's the same thing, just different notation. There's actually a funny story behind this. I remember my math teacher back at school would chastise me for writing log x instead of ln of x. And her reason for doing that would be that log x means log base 10 of x. Now I can see why she might say that, especially because it's very common in other fields like engineering or chemistry to see things like log base 10 of x a lot. But when it comes to maths, there's actually nothing really wrong with it. You'll actually see log appear all the time in you know, the mathematical literature, and it's really, it's really ambiguous. Um, I actually got into a lot of arguments with that teacher, but that's for another time. It's not what this video is about. This video is about integrating log x. Okay, now first of all, you might be wondering why on earth I want to use integration by parts. You know, this is just a single function I have to integrate. So on the surface, it seems like a stupid idea. But there is a trick. I don't know how to integrate log x. I don't know how to integrate this, but I do know how to differentiate it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let u be log x. So this is the thing that I want to differentiate. When I differentiate log x, what do I get? Well, when I differentiate log, I get 1 over whatever's inside, which is 1 over x dx. And what about dv? Well, I chose u to be log x, and dv is just whatever's left over. And in this case, whatever's left over just happens to be dx. So dv is just dx. And when I integrate dv equals dx, I just get, quite simply, v equals x. Okay, so that's the first step done. Now, the integration by parts formula says I've got to take u and multiply that by v, up here, uv. So what's uv? Well, uv is log x times x. Log x times x is x log x. And the integration by parts formula also says that I've got to subtract v times du. So v du. But what is v du? So the integral of v du. v du is just x times 1 over x. And x divided by x is just 1. So I've got to find the integral of 1 dx. Now this is quite interesting. I've actually taken something completely different, log x, and I've ended up having to integrate 1, which is much, much easier. So let's just do this. This just ends up being the x times the natural log of x, or ln of x if you prefer, minus the integral of 1, and the integral of 1 is just x. That's all it is plus c, where c is some arbitrary constant of integration because this is, it's an indefinite integral, so you need this c. And that's it, that's how I integrate log x. It's x log x minus x. So that's how I integrate log x. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more maths videos, then make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments below what video you'd like to see next. Thanks.